Welcome to video 20, the exam questions regarding areas of triangles that come up in the Unit 3 Higher AQA GCSE Maths paper. Again, you should have done video 19 where I go through the theory of this and this paper is, is this video is for you to simply pause the video, have a go at a question and then mark and correct your work using my answers. Okay. Straight away, go into a question, have a go, pause the video, and then watch my answers when you're done. Okay, a nice simple question, really, and it's five marks. So this is a lovely question to come up. The area of triangle B is 50% greater than that of A. Work out the height of triangle B. Okay, right, first thing to do, why not work out the area of triangle A to start with? A nice easy one. Area of triangle A. Well, the area of a triangle is the base times the perpendicular height divided by 2. So 8 times 5 divided by 2, and 8 times 5 is 40 divided by 2 is 20 centimetres squared. Okay, now it says the area of B is 50% greater. Okay, well, 50% of 20 is 10, so add that on to uh, 20, and you would get 30 centimetres squared. Okay, so that's the original area of A plus 50% of what A is, and you'd get 30 centimetres. So just remind you, that's 20 plus 50% of 20, which is 10. So that's the area of B. Well, you also know that the area of B is the base times the height divided by 2. Okay, so what does this height have to be here so that when you times it by 10 and halve it, you get 30? Well, it would be height times 10 divided by 2 is equal to 30. You can either rearrange this equation to get what the height is or just think what it needs to be. Okay, this top thing would need to be 60, so when you divide it by 2, you get 30, so h must be 6 centimeters. Or you could rearrange times both sides by 2, then divide by 10, and you would still get 6. Nice easy question, especially for 5 marks. OK, have a go at the next question. It's about areas of triangles. Maybe uh, a different formula you need here. Have a go, see what answer you get, and mark it against my answer. Okay, now part A said that show this angle was 33.3. I'm not going to do this here. I've done that in the non-right angle triangle trigonometry video. So look there if you're not sure. This is the question I want to focus on here. It tells us that the value of land is £300,000 per acre. One acre is 4,050 metres squared. Calculate the value of the plot ABC. Well, let's work out the area of this triangle. I don't have the perpendicular height, so I need to use the formula area is a half AB sine C. Well, what does that mean? It means a half times the two sides we know times sine of the angle between them. So a half times 160 times 200 times sine of 33.3. So you tap that in your calculator. 0 0.5, 0 0.5 times 160 times 200 times sine 33.3, and you get 8,784 um, meters squared. Well, we know how much it costs per acre, so we need to work out how many acres this is. Well, acres, one acre is 4,050, so we do 8,784 divided by 4,050 to work out how many acres. And we're getting about 2.17 acres. So what's the value of the land? Well, the value is therefore 300,000, how much it is per acre, times how many acres we've got, which is 2.17 odd. And you get something like 600 and uh, £50,693.4 
probably best round it to one significant figure, I would say, because the answer is given in one significant figure. So that would be approximately £700,000 to one significant figure. If you wrote one SF, you'd get the mark there. Okay, so again, quite an easy question for four marks here. Last question, um, you're going to need to use both the area of a right angle triangle, uh, base times height divided by two, and this half AB sine C. So see if you can get this last question here. Pause the video, have a go, then watch my answer. Okay, it asks us the area of this whole quadrilateral. Well, obviously, what we could do is we could split it into two triangles, work out the area of that triangle, which is a right angle triangle, and then work out the area of this triangle uh, and add them together. Okay, could we work out the area of this one? I'm going to call that one and call that two. Well, yes, we could. We could, this isn't a right angle triangle, we don't know the base and perpendicular height but we certainly could use a half AB sine C. So the area of one, we use a half AB sine C. Now remember what that means, it means a half times the two sides you know, so times seven times eight, times sine of the angle in between, so times sine of 80. You tap that in your calculator, 0 0.5 times seven times eight times sine 80, and you get 27.57 centimeters squared. Okay, now how on earth could I uh, work out the area of triangle two? Well, in order to do that, um, I would need, I've got the base, I would need this perpendicular height here, but I don't know it. So, what I could do, I could think of this triangle here, the triangle ABC, and work out this length here, this length x. I could do that using the cosine rule. The reason I could use the cosine rule is uh, I've got two sides and the angle between. I could get that side there. Then I could work out that side using Pythagoras because I'd have two sides and it's a right angle triangle. I could use uh, Pythagoras to get the other one. So it's quite involved here. We're trying to find uh, this side here, so call it A. That makes that capital A, and these are B and C in any order, call that B and C. So, A squared is equal to, we know the formula B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cos A. That's given in the formula booklet. So, A squared must be 7 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 7 times 8 times cos of 80, 7 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 7 times 8 times cos 80, and I get a squared is 93.6, so a is the square root of that, which is 9.67 centimetres. So here, this is 9.67, so let's just think, we've got ourselves a triangle here, and it's a right angle triangle. We know the hypotenuse is 9.67, and we know that the base is 6 centimetres. So how could we work out the perpendicular height? Well, we could use Pythagoras. So we square them, and we're working out the shorter side, so we subtract. So 9.67 squared minus 6 squared. and you would get 57.55, and you square root it to get the height. So the height h is 7.59 centimeters. Okay, so the area, finally, of two is the base times the height divided by two, so base of six times the perpendicular height, 7.59, all divided by two, and you get 22. 0.76, and so total area is that number plus that number, so you get 50.33 centimetres squared. And that's the end of uh, 
my videos on the past paper questions on areas of triangles. Now that was a hard one. It was six marks involved. Uh, it involved the area of a non-right angle triangle here. You should get those. You'd get two marks there. It then involved the cosine rule to get this side here, and then Pythagoras to get the perpendicular height, and then the normal area of a triangle with base and perpendicular height. So a lot was involved. It was quite hard, but gettable if you keep your wits about you. Okay, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next revision video.